we're doing a Q&A today. Names you loved but didn't use. Do you miss doing gymnastics? I was kind of to the point where I was like ready to be done. I literally felt like my private parts down there fell to the floor. I have fear all of a sudden now, you guys. Was motherhood the way you expected it? I just like don't even want to relive that. It was like so hard and so sad. Okay, you guys, welcome back. We are doing a Q&A today. So we asked you guys on Instagram some Q&A questions because we thought it's been a hot minute and we wanted to do a little recap on some questions for you guys. So Jonas has them all on his phone from what you guys had submitted on Instagram. This isn't a Q&A question, but I got lip filler today. So my lips might look big. And they're bruised. They're already bruising. So if you can tell from over there. But I told Michaela the show goes on. We got to do the YouTube video regardless. Do they hurt or are they it? still numb? No, I did a numbing block this time. I've only gotten lip filler one time because me and my friend Chloe did it on a whim and we're just like, let's go get lip filler. And it hurt so bad I literally almost couldn't finish doing it because they literally stab you like 500 times. I was really wanting to do it again. And so I found a girl that I really, really like and I got them done and I did a numbing block this time. So I only got like three shots on the top and like two on the bottom, completely numb my mouth. So it didn't even hurt, which was amazing. But yeah, they always look really big after and they bruise. So that's what we are looking like right now, but I'll show you the results next time <laughs> when they're not swollen anymore. How did you get Lottie to roll over? Our babies were born the same day and he won't. I don't know if Honestly, we got her, she just kind of... Yeah, one, I feel like Charlotte was really, really strong, like, since she came out of the womb. Like, she was holding her head up really well when she was laying in her, like, little plastic bassinet thing that, you know, baby's going at the hospital. The nurse came in to take her, and as she was, like, picking her up, didn't even realize her, her arm was clenched onto the plastic. Charlotte's arm was, and she was just, like, hanging on to it as the nurse was picking her out. she picked it up. <laughs> yeah, she was, like, picking up the plastic piece. It was so funny, so I feel like, I don't know, Charlotte just must have gotten my athleticism <laughs> she's also kind of crazy she's just always moving and kicking. always moving always kicking but I also feel like every day I mean I'm really lucky because I do get to stay at home with her but like I've just been letting her like be on her back and like I'll like do stuff in the kitchen and like get stuff done around the house and just keep an eye on her as she's laying on the floor which they actually say is really good for babies like let them explore let them look at things don't feel like you have to hold them the whole time and then one day she just kind of started like rolling on her side so i feel like i've just been practicing with her and we do tummy time a lot but i've had the same question too where people are like how is your baby like so good at tummy time or can hold their head up so i honestly don't know i just Charlotte's kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys saw her reel on YouTube, but she literally can like say hello almost, pretty much. <laughs> like sort she like, of. you she can tries. tell she tries so hard to talk. She also only screamed for the first six weeks. <laughs> so, so it evens out. This is a good one. Was your husband aware of the theft and scam during his time at Safe Moon? So for those of you that don't know, the company I used to work for, which I quit last year, the CEO is now in jail. Yeah, kind of crazy. And I, I kind of knew that while I was there. Well, there was some like weird stuff going on, but we didn't really like. There was definitely weird stuff. And like, it was just a crazy company. And I could kind of guess. I'm like, oh, you know, this doesn't really add up. But like, I had no idea how bad it was until he got arrested and I saw the court docs and everything. So to answer the question, sort of, not really, but I'm glad I left when I did. And uh, I have a bunch of crazy stories now. How do you manage alone time while having a baby? She's been sleeping really good. <laughs> we don't really have like, alone time. At night time, I mean, yeah, but like your mom will like watch, like Jonas's mom will watch anytime. And like, she basically lived with us for the first month, but she'll babysit anytime. So like, if we need time, she'll watch. And then Charlotte's just sleeping really good at night. She'll wake up like once maybe to feed or she'll go the whole night without waking up. So she's doing really, really good. Can Jonas fit into one of your old Leos? We, <laughs> we answered this one on Instagram. So go watch if you haven't. The answer is yes, sort of. I mean, the Leo held up pretty well. <laughs> Uh, you're close. <laughs> Any good nursing tanks or nursing friendly clothes you recommend that look cute still? See, I was asking my friends about that because I was like, yeah, so like when I start breastfeeding, like am I just gonna have to wear like ugly clothes? Because I feel like there's no cute clothes for breastfeeding or nursing. But honestly, I haven't bought in anything. So, I mean, bras, 
I wear like tar Target maternity bras, Kindred Bravely bras are like my favorite. And then clothes wise, I've just been wearing like the clothes that I have in my closet and just buying whatever. So like if I go out, um, I thought it would be tricky in the winter having a whole bunch of layers, but it's actually been fine. Like if I have a jacket on, I just take my jacket off. And then if I'm out in public, I'll just put my little nursing cover over. I'm like, I don't know what you call it oh. <laughs> to nurse her. And I just lift my shirt up. Honestly, for clothes, I don't have any because I just don't think nursing friendly clothes are very cute. So I've just been wearing my normal clothes and it's worked. It's worked great. So sorry, I don't have any for you guys. Names you loved but didn't use. I don't, I don't know if you want to talk about this because you probably still want to use them. I know. I'm like, <laughs> when people make videos of like names they like weren't going to use, I'm like, they just made those up because there might be names that I give that I still might use. I mean, one that I've always liked was Everly, but then we had a friend named their baby Everly, and then it's just such a popular name since like Savannah used it. Oh, good burp. I don't know. I don't want to give away names because there's still so many that I like that we didn't use. So. Do you miss doing gymnastics? I went to therapy today and the guy asked me that. I was like, I maybe miss doing some flips, but I don't miss like all the other stuff which is so weird, but I think, again, I just ended on a really good note with gymnastics and I was kind of to the point where I was like ready to be done and I was just kind of getting older and I was like, I'm just ready to start life and start that next chapter. It wasn't like I was really young, peaked, and had to be done with gymnastics. I haven't missed it that much, honestly. And now I'm really scared to try and gymnastics. Yeah, she's chickening out of our idea because to do a YouTube I, video. The last video that came out of me working out for the first time, I went to jump and up on the block, but then I ended up just stepping up and Cassie was like, you can jump, but like, if you want, just step up onto the block. And me just being an athlete was like, I can jump up onto a block. And I literally felt like my private parts down there fell to the floor from like the second I jumped, it hurt so bad. I was like, ow, 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 ow. And my sister Chelsea was like, yeah, after you have kids, like it's really hard to just like, the first time you do a back handspring, it, your stomach's gonna hurt so bad. Like when it pulls and stretches. And I haven't really worked out besides that first time just because this last week had been really busy for us. So I'm just nervous that like, I just feel like I'm not strong enough yet to like go and do that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but. I think it'll be fine. You can just start know. small. I'm scared, I know, I'm a chicken. I have fear all of a sudden now, you guys. I used to never have fear and now I feel like I have fear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Will Lottie be the name she goes by? I love it. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I feel like I call her Charlotte half the time and Lottie half the time. Yeah, I mean, Lottie's just a nickname, so it's not really like we named her Charlotte and she goes by Lottie. That's just like her nickname. So we call her both. Like, sometimes I'll call her Char, Lottie Jane, because Jane's her middle name. I don't know. We have a lot of things, but yeah, she just goes by Lottie for short. But yeah, Charlotte, we named her after my grandma. So that's where Charlotte comes from. And then we found out there's a Charlotte on Jonas's side of the family and like family history and stuff. So there's like a Charlotte on both sides, but it's after my grandma, so. <laughs> and her initials are the same as my grandma. Oh yeah. Which we found out later. Yeah. <laughs> Would y'all ever get a dog? Uh, we pretty much have a dog. I think you saw her in the corner of the video for the first 10 She's minutes. She's high maintenance. <laughs> That's <for> mellow. <laughs> So no, was motherhood the way you expected it? I mean, definitely not like how I expected it to be necessarily because I just didn't know our baby would be so difficult, which I know like everyone's first baby, it's an adjustment. You know, it's such a big change in your life. But Jonas just like, I kept telling Jonas like, that's not how it is, that's not how it is. Cause he kept saying like, all of his friends were telling him, oh, having a newborn really is so easy and all they do is sleep. I'm like, yeah, maybe the first week they sleep, but I'm like, you just never know what kind of baby you're gonna get, so that's not realistic. And I think Jonas just didn't believe me because his friend's babies were just, you know, angels and just were so great. And it wasn't like that for us. So I think like, I kind of was more prepared for it to be hard, but I didn't realize like how hard it was. Like it was really difficult with Charlotte. I felt so bad for her because again, like in our other YouTube videos, it was like, even if like she was sleeping, she was still in like pain and just grunting and hurting. And I just like, don't even want to relive that. It was like, so hard and so sad like I just felt so bad for her but anyway now that she's been doing so good I'm like okay I could have another kid and my sister's like yeah it's just so short-lived like I know like your pregnancy was rough and like the first month was rough but she's like it's so worth it and when they get bigger it gets easier so 
Yeah, definitely maybe not what I expected, but I was prepared for it to be hard. Do you still do gymnastics anymore? Better question is <laughs> when was the last time you did gymnastics? Like real gymnastics, gold over the America tour. So after so the Olympics. So two years. Well, I mean, if you don't count it, it's two and a half. Well, and then American Ninja Warrior, when we did that, there was a couple times where I did like an aerial or a back handspring just for fun, but that's not like really like gymnastics, gymnastics. So yeah, the last time was on Gold Over America Tour, which is crazy. Do you have any advice for a new YouTuber slash travel vlogger? Uh, be consistent. <laughs> That's our problem. I mean, we, we were really consistent like when we documented everything like through the Olympics. But then just after that, we moved to Utah and I was doing school. It was just really stressful and I just needed a break. So we kind of stopped. And now I feel like we're kind of starting from scratch again, just like by being consistent posting, but like we're actually doing it now that Charlotte's here and Charlotte's a little bit bigger. It's kind of motivated me to do more and to transition like into the mom life. And I don't know. Yeah, do you have anything to add? I don't, I don't know. know, YouTube's hard. I don't know, social media in general is hard. We've been trying to do a reel every day, if you haven't noticed, for December, which doesn't sound too bad because it's like, oh, reel is 30 seconds, but it is hard, like, <laughs> thinking of what to do. And Well, I was just telling Jonas, I'm like, couldn't we have, like, filmed stuff in December and then posted in January? But then I'm like, it's not in real time. And then I was like, and then we'd be posting, like, stuff during Christmas time and then posting it in January. So I was just like, I don't know. I was like, couldn't we just start with, like, two reels a week? <laughs> And it's been every day so far, but we've done it. We haven't posted the one for today yet, but we'll we gotta get to out. that. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to talk? How are you finding the breastfeeding now? Sometimes I just feel like it's so annoying because it's like if you're out and about and like you're in a place where you like can't feed her, it like gets really stressful or sometimes I'm like, leaving somewhere and I'm like, she's just getting hungry. So I'm like, okay, I'll just race home and feed her so I don't have to like sit and feed her in the car. But it, it, ha it has gotten a lot better. It's a lot easier. And I mostly just breastfeed and sometimes I'll pump and she'll take a bottle if she needs to, but I definitely will just pump at night just cause I produce so much milk that I can't go very long in the night. So I'll have to get up in the night and pump and stuff. And then I'll just usually put that milk in the fridge and save it. I have a lot of milk supply in the fridge. I'm yeah. like, I should probably like donate it because she doesn't really drink from a bottle that much because I nurse most of the time. So anyway, it's been going really good. Thanks for asking, but it's a lot better. Definitely getting easier. So she's doing good. What's your favorite Bible verse and why? It's I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh. That's always been like my favorite. What is it? I, I know. I should have it memorized because... Whenever I like talk in our church and stuff, I that's like my go-to. Philippians 4.13. Yeah, that's, that's like my one. favorite. Mine is probably 2 Timothy 1.7. Do you know what that one is? No. Uh, basically just says God didn't give us the spirit of fear. So if there's something you're afraid of, it's not from God. He gave us courage. Sarah and Wally ask, why are you so hot and why, how did Jonas get so hot? I know, I saw that when I was looking it's at It's the parent glow for everybody. No, it's the baby glow. It's the well, baby glow. Me, yeah, we both, glow. We both baby got glow. it. How can my daughter keep up her level 8 skills when we live in a country with limited options? That's a good question. I know, I saw that when I was trying to think about it. I mean, that's really hard when... You know, you might not have a specific gym to go to or the right coaches or you feel like she's not progressing, which can be really hard. But honestly, like I would say if you can just do privates, work at home, it's really hard because like, I mean, my sister did gymnastics and she was a coach for a long time. So she'll just teach her girls at home. But I guess if you're a parent that doesn't know how to coach gymnastics, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. But just practice at home on her own or like certain things depending on what she can do, but I would just say lots of privates. That's really hard. Do you plan on finding a job when Charlotte is older or stay at home? Uh, that's been, I mean, I've always just wanted to be a stay at home mom if like, you know, Jonas is making money and we're doing good. I mean, if I had to work, I would. I mean, I guess social media is kind of my job I'm on the side and doing like YouTube and stuff. And I have my degree, which I was gonna do sports broadcasting. Don't know if I'm still doing that at this point, but I mean, it's always there, hopefully, if I want to do it at some point. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, or if I get bored and end up wanting to work, then I will. But as of right now, just a stay-at-home mom. And she's a full-time, this little She full is a full-time job. job. <laughs> Which leads into the next question. How much sleep do you guys get a night when she was a newborn and now? 
When she was a newborn, it was like not at all. <laughs> yeah. It was terrible. It was yeah. like every two hours at least. And that was if she fell asleep, which sometimes she just wouldn't even fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Like slowly, it kind of started getting better. It was around six weeks once her medicine started working. Once she was mm-hmm. better overall, that's when she started. It wasn't until I think last week where she slept through the night officially for the first time. Yeah, but I mean, she was doing so good. Like, we had put her to bed at, like, she'd have, like, her, like, nighttime feeding at, like, 7 or 8 o'clock, usually is when, around when she has her nighttime feeding. And then she would, like, full on fall asleep, be passed out. And then she'd usually wake up around, like, 3, 2 or 3 in the morning to eat. And then she'd go back to sleep and not wake up till, like, 7 or 8. And then there's been a couple times where she'll go the whole entire night, which usually I end up feeding her again at, like, 10 o'clock, which is almost better if we do another feeding because then she'll usually sleep the whole night if she doesn't like wake herself up so she's been killing it I mean I've been feeling pretty good and then sometimes I still take a nap during the day because she'll usually have a big nap like a three or four hour nap in the day which is awesome sometimes so then usually I'll just take a nap with her to get a little extra sleep she's killing it huh Charlotte she's doing good so good let's keep it that way huh sis will you ever do a nursery reveal yes I like we're, him so mad we're because still just waiting on two the things. nursery is so cute and it's just sitting there and I can't show anybody because we want to do like a reveal so it's like hard because I like will be in her room sometimes and I'm like oh I just want to like snap a picture because it's so cute but we're just waiting on two items we still need a rocking chair and we need a mattress for her crib so those are the only two things we're waiting for which has been really annoying because i really want a rocking chair right now which would be so nice with charlotte but once we get those things then we'll definitely do the reveal so hopefully soon are you going to the 2024 olympics to commentate slash do interviews or media it's like hard just because charlotte and like breastfeeding and stuff i don't know so if like we all could go as a family then probably but if not i will probably just stay home dream vacation spot i really don't know i just want to go to like paris i want to go to the maldives oh you want to go to africa too don't you yep that'd be Jonas fun wants to do a safari trip that'd be awesome i want to go to like paris and i want to go to the costa rica i don't know there's a lot of places i want to go to <laughs> you have a lot of dream vacation yeah. spots how has your faith in god increased since giving birth well the, <laughs> the first mean, few just... weeks we were like are we being punished by god because you know we did we do something wrong? Because he gave us such a difficult baby. <laughs> I know. But it's actually... But I look at it as, as like, well, I think he might just be, you know, teaching us a lesson. You know, like everything in life is a trial. And, you know, Jonas doesn't have patience. So I'm like, maybe he just yeah, has to learn to have patience. No, you don't. I do now. But anyway, no, I feel like if... I mean, we've always had faith and we've always been really strong in our faith. And by going to church every Sunday and I just... I mean, I guess it's like kind of... I don't know if it's increased, but it's just really like, it makes me feel like, how can there not be a God? Cause like, how does that just happen? You know, like, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like mm -hmm. there's like, how, how would that be made without one? You know, like how would a baby be made without one? So I guess it does strengthen my faith even more. Favorite song for baby Lottie. Someone had asked me this when I did an Instagram live the other day because I was showing them um, my Leo collection that I came out with because I got the Leos. What's that one song? I mean, she loves Taylor Swift, but what's that one song? Oh, Enya? Enya. It's not a song. That's <laughs> an artist. That's how I would get her to fall <laughs> asleep when she wouldn't sleep. I'd put on some Enya because it's just some... Yeah, but what's that main song? The really good one. Caribbean Blue. There's uh, a song that I really like because it's, it's called... It's a really good one. It's called Lottie Lottie. Oh. It's not, but it's like... It's it's a, a rapper and his girlfriend, her nickname was Lottie. But it's not like the best song, like lyrics wise. <laughs> so the only part that I can sing is there's this one part where he says, Lottie, Lottie, you know. And so I sing that part to her a lot, but I can't, yeah, I can't like, sing the rest Lottie, of the song because you know. it's about what he would do if they broke up. It's just not a great song, <laughs> but it's it's a cool sounding yeah. song. And it she says also Lottie. likes September. Oh yeah. Obviously. Yeah, but she really likes Earth, that when we fire. play it. Yeah. It's like her good, that? like fun, upbeat song she likes. Yeah. So we have a few favorite yeah. songs. Do you still want to do Dancing with the Stars? Because you should. It's so funny because I don't really watch Dancing with the Stars. Like I haven't in a really long time. And I watched this season uh, <sighs> just because Riley Arnold was on it. And I know her older sister, Lindsay Arnold, that was on it. And so like I just kind of wanted to like watch and see how she was doing. And we follow each other on Instagram. So I like, kind of wanted to support her. And I was kind of like, if these like 
older people can do it. I can do it. That's actually like doesn't seem like it's that hard even though I'm sure it's still hard to like break in ballroom shoes and you get blisters and it's hard. But I think it'd be something that I'd be really good at. I just told my agent that I wanted to be on Dancing with the Stars. So I think it'd be cool if I got pitched for next season. So we'll see what happens with that. But yes, I would actually love to do it. I think it'd be That'd really be cool. fun. Are you guys doing better as Lottie gets older? I feel like she was a tough baby. Uh, yes and yes. She was a really tough baby, but I'd say we're doing better. We're also getting into more of a routine. She's getting into more of a routine. She's kind of starting to fall asleep I mean, right now, which is good. She's been quiet this whole time. She's been. She likes her car seat. She's been fussing, seat. but she's been quiet. <laughs> she likes her car seat now, where before she hated being in it. She'd just scream. Mm -hmm. So she actually does really good in it now. So it's been fun. It's been fun that she can actually like enjoy herself, you know? What do you miss most about competing and what don't you miss about competing? Competing wise, I miss just competing in front of a ton of fans. Like competing at Olympic trials was like so unreal and like the coolest meet I've ever competed in, even better than 2016 Olympic trials. So I just miss like putting on a show and just going out there and just doing my thing and doing what I love uh, and just being competitive. But like, I definitely don't miss training and all the hours and <laughs> the blood sweat and tears that it took to get to where I got to I don't miss that part and I do miss doing all the flips like I just love doing crazy tricks and flips and playing around in the gym so that's one thing I do miss a lot and then last question do you plan on starting Charlotte in gymnastics or letting her choose we've talked Charlotte about this a little no. bit <laughs> well I think it's fine if we start her in gymnastics I've, I've just always said I don't want her to do like the elite route yeah but, I mean, unless she really, really wants to, you know, that's fine. I think at the end of the day, we just want her to do what she wants to do. I'm just saying, I would prefer that she has more a normal childhood, playing sports, having yeah, fun. Yeah, he just saw... It's just so intense, you know? Yeah, he just saw what I went through and how hard it was. But that's also... I mean, gymnastics is hard in general, and it still takes a lot of time and dedication when you're even doing, like, the J.O. route. But at least the J.O. route's still more fun, and, like, she could get a scholarship for gymnastics. Like, it'd be cool. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think it'd be really fun to see her do something different because I just don't think I would be able to handle the politics in gymnastics, especially you'd, you'd like- turn into a gym mom. Yeah, I'd be a crazy gym mom probably because like it was already hard enough being an athlete and seeing it happen, but then like seeing it happen to your daughter would be another thing. I think it'd be fun to like see her do something different. Like I could just be part of a different sport because I never got to do other sports really. So like it'd be kind of cool to like learn another sport and support her in it. And so she doesn't have to just do like, oh, I just did gymnastics because my mom did it. But I also think she might be a little more on the taller side. She has really long hands and feet. She's got big hands, so I just, big feet. I don't know, but I think it'd be good to start her in it because I think it just makes you really good at every sport. Makes your awareness really good. That'd be cute. Put her in like a little baby gymnastics class. Yeah, that'd be cute. Well, I mean, I just got her two Leos in the smallest size they come in. Oh, really? From my leotard collection. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they're, I put them in her closet. Oh, that's cute. So she has to, like, at least do gymnastics in it for a little bit. Yeah. Because if I didn't get to wear them, she has to wear them for me. Because I did a leotard collection, and then I was done doing gymnastics. So I never got to wear my own Leos. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's give it a few years, and I'm sure we'll have a YouTube video of it at some <laughs> point. <laughs> Which, speaking of, you guys in the comments and in Michaela's DMs, you need to convince her to do another training video when we're back for Arizona because oh gosh. I told her we're, we're going back to Arizona for Christmas. We're gonna be going to Desert Lights just to say hi to people. So I'm like, as long as we're there, we should do a haven't done gymnastics yeah, in two years video doing gymnastics. So I'm like, bring like, your grips. Yeah, I'm not bringing my grips. That's I, just, that's a little too far. Just, you don't have to do routines, but just I like know, to see I what just, you can do. I don't think my body's like in shape for that yet because I couldn't work out during my pregnancy. I've only barely just started working out. My body's still really weak. I feel like I might well, need you, to give it a little more time. You take it easy, but I mean, I just know, to see what you can do, like just do a giant. I don't think I could. You could do a giant. My hands would rip. Or like just do a, a layout. I don't know, it freaks me out. Or just do like a flick full on the beam. No. 
That was funny. Ha 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 ha. Well, anyways, well, I'm gonna we'll, die. We'll, we'll do something. It It'll be. You a... might just get a back handspring. I don't know. We'll have to see how it feels, but we'll try. We'll see if you I can will just try. walk on the beam. Yeah, I'm just like a scaredy cat now, and I think it's just because I literally went from doing gymnastics to nothing. Like I haven't even like kept up with it at all because my club gym isn't here. So it's just like I can't just like show up at the gym and go play, you know? I don't know. And I feel weird just going to some other club gym because I like don't know their equipment. I don't know, just be weird. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It'll be fun. So that's all we got for you guys today. If you want us to do another one of these Q and A's, let us know, hit us up with any questions and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, we'll catch you real soon. See you guys.